Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Jackie Ida. Jigga, 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 jigga. Jigga, 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 jigga. Today I'm gonna be giving you guys a one-on-one lesson on how to be confident. Confidence is definitely something that kind of grows on you. It's not something you're born with. It's well, actually as humans, we kind of are kind of naturally born to be confident. And then as you get older, life just knocks you down and you become jaded and you become just so inundated with what everyone else thinks. How do you block that out? How do you take some of those things with a grain of salt and still do you? How do you constructively take people's feedback without beating yourself over it all the time and becoming self deprecating? When do you? I'm gonna talk about all of those things. We're also gonna get glam. Yes, I am going to be talking about confidence while putting on five layers of makeup. That's fine, okay? Because the two don't cancel each other out, okay? Both can exist one in the same, in the same house. So without further ado, let's just jump right in. All right, time to prime. I wanna talk a little bit about what confidence is and what confidence is not. A lot of people be getting real confused. So let's just break down my thoughts, my views on what confidence is and more importantly, what confidence is not. This is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, Primer of the Year 2019. Blah, blah. Oh, this primer is so good. Like, you wanna talk about confidence in a bottle? Sweetie, please, get three. And they come in travel sizes. I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder and set my primer while I preach. Confidence is definitely not, I'm better than you, I'm prettier than you, I'm richer than you, I'm cooler than you. Like, those are the things confidence isn't, okay, or aren't. Confidence is not arrogance. Arrogance means I'm better than you. Like those things mean I'm better than you, I'm above you, I am, I'm higher than you, I'm worth more than you. Those things are arrogance. Confidence literally means everything I get is from within. Confidence means I'm my biggest hype man. Confidence means you may not compliment me today and I'm okay with that. I can go to sleep at night being just fine. Just think of today's video as like your personal pep talk cause I'm really about to go in because I'm tired of y'all waking up every day not feeling like your truest selves. And I know it because I see comments from you guys. Next I'm gonna highlight under my skin using the New Band Beauty D-Glow Highlighter. The color that I use is Ecstasy. This is so freaking pretty. Like it is the most beautiful highlight on dark skin. Oh, Now we had to define confidence and what it is because there's a lot of people so as you can see I'm just confidently highlighting my cheekbone because I deserve it yes yeah, it's, it's kind of a lot it's fine it's gonna look really pretty once we throw on our foundation so the first tip that I want to give about how to be confident if you are right stand in it if you are wrong stand in it be wrong I always respect people who they believe in what they believe and they don't hold back and they don't stand down for nobody we're not talking about the toxic people we're talking about the people who maybe the opinion is not the most popular, but they believe it and they stand in it and that's all that matters. That is confidence one-on-one, -on -one, you guys. Also, sometimes that can be very foolish, but it's okay if you're confident, right? <laughs> Jester, you have done it again. Now I'm gonna use Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Foundation. While I confidently blur these pores real quick. The people who can literally just pick up the product with a sponge and blend right in, what's it like? Problematic, that's what you are. I actually like to put the foundation on my face first because then I can see where she goes, where she gonna end up, and where she's headed, and where she came from, more importantly. When it comes to foundation, the number one thing that you always have to remember is that stuff comes from yourself. Nobody can boost confidence for you. I mean, they can try try but it just does not hit the same and what happens when that person's no longer in your life anymore like how long are those few words of wisdom that you're clinging on to really supposed to last like how long are they gonna last this is my morphe setting spray i like to set if you could just fly somewhere else for your brush get your foundation to last longer even though i'm not going anywhere but at least I'll be cute on the couch. You have to rely on yourself 100% because let me tell you something, what would you do if there was no one there to root for you? What would you do? So there's a YouTuber, her name is Shallon Lester. Some of her videos, I don't really agree with. Actually, a lot of her videos, very different, different genre, very different genre of content. But she does a lot of like self-help, type of content. I remember watching a video about how she was basically comparing women like Rihanna. I per personally, I don't like to compare women. It's not something that I subscribe to, but I think she was just doing it for the sake of an analogy, not literally saying one's better than the other. I don't think that's what she was trying to say at all. So basically she did this video and she was talking about this thing. There's like warm blooded personalities and then there's cold blooded personalities. And she used Kylie Jenner versus Rihanna as an example. Sorry, not versus, we're not comparing them. She was basically saying how there's women who are like Rihanna, 
who are just like cool, whether or not you say they're cool. Like Rihanna is going to be cool with or without our validation, a man's validation, Vogue's validation, a, a fashion line's validation. Like Rihanna is just that chick. Whereas there are people, this is not to be degrading or anything like that. There are people who, for example, Kylie Jenner, um, she's very young. She's also very impressionable. It just You just get the vibe that like she wakes up and everything that she does is literally dictated by like how people respond and react to it. So it's like not cool unless people tell her that it's cool. Do you get what I'm saying? Like one is cold blooded and one is warm blooded. I forget which one is which. It was like a genius personality. Like I think Rihanna is considered warm blooded because she warms herself from within. Whereas cold, like you have to pop her in a warm temperature, a warm environment to get her to open up and be herself more. I 100% identify with Rihanna because I say this to people all the time. Like you don't really have to compliment me for me to feel good about myself. Obviously you guys know I'm an influencer. Whenever I get like a really like not so nice comment from someone, I might be like, girl, like why did you have to say that? Like that was rude. Sometimes they'll clap back and they'll say something like, well, do you expect people to like say only nice things about you 24 seven? I'm gonna contour with my CoverGirl concealer. No, of course I don't expect that. Let's talk about that for a second because sometimes I feel like people say mean things for the simple fact that they know the person that they're saying it to is highly complimented and they just wanna be the one person to burst your bubble. They just wanna be like, mm, you get enough compliments. I'm gonna say something to rock, shake the table a little bit. Ooh, wow. That's weird, get some help. There are genuinely people who think like that and I know that because I've seen them comment that. But anyway, what I was trying to say with Kevin Aquan concealer, they'll be like, you can't just get compliments all day. I totally agree with that. But at the same time, like I don't ask to be complimented either. You know what I mean? Like you could just be like commenting on my pictures like, oh, hope you had a good day, Jackie. Like, you know, good to see you girl. Like, hey, it's my birthday. I got an A on my test. Like, I don't know. You can just make conversation or just don't say nothing at all. Contrary to what people People believe I think that they think that we're just like obsessed with being self loathed all day one I actually find that kind of toxic I personally don't want to be around people who are like that I don't even want to date anybody because that gets old very fast you ever just been around a person who overcompensates by overly complimenting you all the time that's not fun either when people try to like push this idea that because I'm in the public eye and because I have a lot of followers that all I accept is praise and worship. Absolutely not. First of all, that's extremely corny for you to think that way. I just definitely know that you don't have to be rude. You don't have to tell me that you don't like something because at the end of the day, I've already put the picture up. <laughs> or like, if you don't like my makeup, I can't change it in the picture. I can't change it in the video. Tomorrow, it may look better. The day after that, it may look even worse. What you gonna say about it though? What you doing about it? Like for real though, like what you gonna say? Okay, you didn't like my lipstick, then what do I do? You don't like the way my face is shaped. What am I supposed to do? What do I say? Where do we go from there? If people don't like the stuff that I'm doing, I'm good, I got this. And I know that because I was not celebrated for that long on YouTube. I, this is my 11th year on the platform. I've gone a very long time without having a ton of followers, getting a lot of praise. If anything, it was the opposite. Like, you know, people rocked with me, but those times where you open up the Instagram app and someone's saying that you're not attractive or someone's comparing you to an animal or saying you look like a man or whatever, that very much so still happens too. Guess what? Am I gonna sit there and dwell on the fact that somebody thinks I look like a man? No. 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 You think I'm ugly? Okay. You ugly to somebody too. <laughs> what we both gonna do? Ugly? No one's technically ugly in the eyes of the Lord. When I was a kid, I wasn't that cute. I think it's Gen Z are the really, really youngins right now. Don't clock me in the comments because I know everybody's gonna keep commenting this. Please don't. I feel like the girlies now, like you guys are all skipping the awkward stage because you have YouTube and you have tutorials and you pretty much have the blueprint being written for you on like how to be cute at a younger age. Beauty products have never been more accessible and I don't just mean by prices, I also mean just by knowledge of how to apply them, how to use them and skincare routines are, a dime a dozen now, like you can just get them anywhere from anybody, literally. Whereas back in the day, day girl, you was just on your own. I know I look like I got horns right now, but just stay with me. So anyway, what I'm trying to say is that when I was young and not that cute and kind of ugly, my family didn't really put like a ton of pressure on me to look a certain way. Nobody in our family like really made fun of the way we look. It was like, if 
you was ugly, you was just ugly, that was it. Like that's just the way God made you, ain't nothing we can do about it. The great thing about that is I basically learned how to express myself and really be comfortable and looking a certain way and wearing things that weren't always that popular. I learned how to kind of hone in on that from a very early age because nobody was like clocking me. Like I could be weird. I could wear lime green pleather outfits. People probably said stuff, but I didn't pay attention. If you didn't say it to my face, then it didn't happen. Next case, Your Honor. So that individuality of kind of just being a little ignorant was really what allowed my confidence to really foster and to really flourish because if you don't hear it, you don't know what you don't know. So if I didn't know I looked crazy, then all right, I guess I don't look crazy then. Keep going on about your day. This is another CoverGirl concealer, by the way. This is in the shade Golden Caramel and I contoured with Espresso. And I told y'all I was correcting with Kevin Aquan, right? I hope I did. My mom is really artistic and really creative so like I would design clothes, she would sew them for me. We kind of like have this little tag team going on and I got a lot of my creativity from her, which I'm really glad for because she just let me be a kid. There was no pressure to look a certain way, to be wifeable, even though like, yeah, I'm sitting here and I'm saying like, oh, confidence comes from within. To a certain extent, like compliments are okay from other people. It's okay to be validated through other people. It is needed to a certain extent, but what I'm saying is you shouldn't rely on it. I'm definitely super, super grateful that my family and and my parents specifically didn't put a ton of society's pressures on me as a young black girl because that very much so could have been my story. And I remember growing up, this is something that I don't really talk about, but when I was younger, a lot of people in the black community talk about the colorism that happens against like girls who are light skin or like the girls who are mixed. And it's always like, oh, the dark skin girls would make fun of me because I wasn't black enough or because I was prettier than them and blah, blah. You know that kind of like, oh. But when I was a kid, I actually had the opposite experience like my school life I remember growing up with a group of girls because when I was in elementary school I went to a white school I grew up in a Latin neighborhood okay so I grew up around like Mexicans and El Salvadorian the school that I went to there weren't that many black people but the few black people that were there were either like biracial or like mixed or were not mixed but like racially ambiguous basically like I was the only like unambiguous black girl for a lot of my childhood growing up but they always made me feel like I wasn't the cool girl because I wasn't mixed. I didn't have a group of, of girls that like uplifted me for being who I was, who really accepted me. I grew up being like, literally when I say the ugly kid, I was not cute, not because I was black, but like I just wasn't cute. Then I get to school and these girls are like, ugh, your hair's not long. Ugh. Oh my God, you're not biracial. Ugh. I had to work around that. Um, It wasn't always fun, but my mom always taught me you're beautiful regardless. And I knew she felt it too because I remember when they would go to the PTA meetings and stuff like that. I remember my mama used to roll her eyes at some of the things the mamas would say because if their kids had that mindset, then please believe the parents thought that too. Child, it was just a lot. This is my fan, by the way. I let my concealers dry down. Shout out to the parents who really just let their children be kids. You know what I mean? Like, and let that be a lesson to people who are raising kids now. A lot of your children's confidence and social skills are gonna be developed now. I feel like the ages five through 10, you better love on them, tell them words of affirmation, and really make them feel accepted because that's the time to do it. So obviously a lot of what I grew up experiencing, such as being different or not needing like outside validation to really hype myself up has kind of translated into my adult life. I very much so adapted this idea that like, if I didn't ask you, then it's really not my business. If I ask you, that's very different. But when it comes to things that may not be the most uplifting, or the most kind. Maybe you wanted to tell me that my hair was ugly today. If I didn't ask you, then shut up. Okay, just shut up. Just shut up, shut up, just stop. Shut up, just shut up, shut up, just stop. <laughs> my shut the hell up game gets even stronger now that I'm in my 30s. Can we also talk about how confidence also comes with age? It's just something that naturally you grow into. So if you are, I don't know, like 17 girl and you're not really feeling it yet, it's okay. In fact, it's normal. I encourage it. Nobody wants to be the person who peaked at 16. No shade. Like honestly, like give yourself years to grow into that. You don't just like, I wasn't this way when I was younger. Hell no. Nah. I knew I was ugly. I knew my lane. <laughs> 
But as I got older, I definitely came to grow more into myself because first of all, life taught me, yeah, yeah, you good, you good, girl. You doing all right, you Gucci. That was just something that just came with my experiences, growth, seeing other people make mistakes that maybe I dodged and like, oh, now I know I made the right move. Cause in this video, I'm not necessarily just talking about confidence is how you look. I'm talking about confidence, like as it relates to like work, confidence in your professional life, career goals. My favorite quote is definitely learn how to not take unsolicited opinions too personal because let me tell you something people love spilling their word vomit right onto your lap even when you didn't even ask for it the difference between your opinion and pizza is i asked for pizza i didn't ask you what you thought of the shape of my butt double cheeked up on a thursday afternoon i didn't ask you if you liked my titty <laughs> I didn't ask you that. Now why the hell did it take me 20 minutes to figure out this side of my contour was unblended? Why y'all didn't tell me? I'm gonna bronze. This is my Fenty bronzer in Coco Nordi. Remember sis, you inspire people who pretend to not even see you. I want you to remember that, write it down, put it in your back pocket and save it for a rainy day. Just cause people aren't saying nothing to you or to your face, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're not checking for you and they're not inspired. This is my Derma Blend powder in the color Warm Saffron. If that's not a confidence booster, I honestly don't know what the hell is. Now I'm bronzing for real, for real. One thing that my mom taught me when I was younger is that if you wake up every day, even when you're not in the mood, even when you're irritated as hell, even when you are just so irritated, even when you just don't even feel cute, you had a breakout, whatever, whatever you're going through, wake up every single morning. And as soon as you hit that bathroom mirror, just look at yourself and smile. You ain't gotta say nothing. You ain't have to have the best smile, just smile. It is what it is. Whatever you're dealt with, just look in the mirror and smile. Sometimes, honestly, that in itself is a quick mood booster and can instantly make you feel like, wow, like whatever is in store for me today, I'm ready, I got this. That right there is a little bit of confidence. Something that I also want to stress is do not under any circumstances ever, ever, do you hear me? Don't ever entertain negative self-talk, you better. Mm -mm. Cut it out, cut that right the hell out. If it means I sucked at that, I mean, that might not be negative self-talk, that might be reality, but that's a little different. Like if that's a test, I mean, numbers don't lie. Negative self-talk means I don't have the qualifications for this job, or why would a guy date someone like me? Or even something like, I'm not good enough, I'm not pretty enough, I'm not thin enough, mm -hmm. X all that. Even if those things are true, okay? Even if you really feel like those things are true, don't say them, don't say them out loud. Because if it's not true, it just became true the moment you verbalized it. You put it out there. Hey, stop that, don't be doing that. Sometimes you can verbally psych yourself up just before you even had a chance. Like you never even gave yourself a chance. Like, do you understand how powerful that is? I would definitely not be here today if I entertained a lot of the negative self thoughts that I had. I wasn't always this booming, walking, talking advertisement for how to live your best life. No, I don't always have nice things. I wasn't always that great at makeup and I wasn't always, like I said earlier, wasn't always that cute. So I learned how to really just develop those things with or without them actually being true. That is really what will stand the test of time is when you build that stuff internally and when you build it yourself, nobody can take it from you. If you got it from a guy, if you got it from an old boss, if you got it from an ex friend who, you know, maybe is not in your life anymore. Once those things are gone, you really have to have it within yourself. The key thing is you have to actually believe it for it to stick. I'm even gonna go as far as to say, sometimes it's best to just not even tell anyone. For example, if you're thinking about starting a new business or if you're thinking about going back to school or if you're thinking about joining the military, maybe these are things that people probably would either try to talk you out of or wouldn't believe in you enough to like encourage you to do it, then I just would not tell people I would just do it first. I'm queen of literally accomplishing something and then people finding out that I did it when I accomplished it. I don't like telling people, I'm thinking about doing this. I'm thinking about doing that because you know what that does? Let me tell you what that does. It gives other people the opportunity to talk you out of it. Confidence gone before you even started. Why the hell would I do that? No, I got this. I'll do this on my own. If I fail, so what? I learned something, didn't I? When have you ever not learned something from a failure? I've learned 
a lot from failing at certain things, a ton of things. So you gain something from it. Do you get what I'm saying? Just to piggyback off of what I was saying about not entertaining negative self-talk, also try your hardest to refrain from entertaining negative self-talk when other people are doing it. You know that quote in Mean Girls when all of the girls are basically going around in circles and like saying something really self-deprecating about each other and then it's kind of like, okay, your turn now, like you drag yourself. Don't be doing that. If anything, like tell your girlfriend's girl, like chill, relax, change the subject because that stuff, like it or not, even though it may be lighthearted and cute in the long run, like you really are saying it because you believe it. Why would you want to believe that about yourself? On the opposite, try to practice positive words of affirmation. Practice telling yourself, yes, I can. Yes, I did. I, it's already mine. Did that. Accomplished that. Passed that job mine. Hotel Travago. Truly, nobody has time to entertain negative self-talk because guess what? If you really didn't believe you had what it takes, then why would you be going after that in the first place? You apply, girl, because you know you got what it takes. Deep down, you do. And you know that the world needs to be exposed to it too. So let them, let them love some you too. So we're gonna take a quick break to do the eyes. It's really hard to pump y'all up with confidence boosters while I blend. So I'm just gonna really quickly use a little bit of my Maybelline foundation and just kind of go over my eyelids to just even them out a little bit. This is just our shadow primer today, but I'm not actually using just this as shadow primer. I'm also gonna use a little bit of the ABH eye primer. This eye primer is so light that it performs so much better when you mix it in with like a complexion product, like your concealer, your foundation. It just looks way better and way more flattering on the skin tone. Hopefully this video isn't too all over the place, but like, I just want you guys to really live out and see your true potential. And like a lot of the things that I know now, like I wish I knew when I was like 21, even at the age of 25, like there were certain things that I was certain about. Like I knew I was gonna be successful. Like I just knew, I didn't know how, but I just knew. When I was a teenager, like I didn't really have all that positivity. Like I wasn't surrounded with a bunch of people rooting for me and telling me to live out my own potential all the time. They most certainly weren't calling me ugly. No, it was like, you are actually supposed to be a doctor. <laughs> That's not really a confidence booster when that's not your end goal in life. I'm late on the bandwagon. It's not my first time. Wait, is this my first time using this palette? Oh my God, I think it might be. This is from the ABH and Ravina collection. I guess this is its own like standout brand now. Yeah, I'm gonna take this palette. It's called the Pro Pigment Volume 3. Sounds real cute, Felicia. I'm gonna take D1. I like how these are labeled too. This is D1, this color right here. It's kind of orangey. Today's look will be orange and yellow, perhaps. I'm gonna take a pad in my hand, not a pad, a Fufi Lala poof. Yeah, whatever. I'm gonna put this under my eye to catch any fallout. And I'm gonna take D1. Okay, that's really orange. Oh my God. I wanted this to look a little bit more like my skin tone, but that's okay. D1, we gonna fit right in to the living room, AKA the crease, honey. It's got just enough orange to not be too standout-ish. It actually looks really good on my skin tone. I'm gonna really buff this out and extend her and I'm gonna build up. I'm not gonna load on my brush and go right in and blend. I'm building as I go up. You want it to gradually get heavier and heavier. We need brown liner, dark brown liner to be Pacific. And I'm gonna start tracing the shape of my eyes. It's not gonna be neat, child. Don't be judging me, girl. Also, I'm gonna take, oh, you know what? I wanna do that after I blend out my lid color. But yeah, we're gonna trace the shape of our eyes using this brown pencil. And if it's not perfect, that's okay. It's easier to do this when you're following your natural eye shape because then you'll know that it's even if you're following your actual eye shape. I thought that was a dark matte brown in this palette, but oh, I was wrong. So I grabbed my own palette and I'm just gonna use credit because you can never do no wrong. Oh, here it is this way, right here. We need something real, that's too precise. Maybe this, I'm gonna take this Morphe M419. 419? Girl, what in the scammer is going on? M419, honey, is gonna take us home, girl. We just gonna use this and just trace right over that. Yes, I know she's not perfect. And I'm intensifying the brown eyeliner that we made by using credit. I'm trying to really smoke this out and blend this out. Now, the next thing I wanna do is I'm gonna take E2 from this palette here, down here. She looks a lot lighter on camera than she actually is. I just want my brush to kiss. It. Boop. Just one quick poke in there, okay? Y'all know what I meant. I'm gonna go right over where we applied our brown and I'm gonna start blending her over, back and forth, back, back, 
forth and forth. And I'm gonna start blending back, back, forth and forth to intensify. Please ignore this. I only put that there because I wanted to see like where I needed to stop this top line. We're gonna, I'm actually gonna redo that. Just ignore that. Oh yes, Miss E2. We're gonna use this to just kind of blend out this brown, honey. We need more primer for our lid. We're gonna etch all that off. I wanna thin out this line as much as I possibly can. Thin her out, meaning cover her up. And then I'm gonna do the same on this side. Just one more quick round of liner. I'm a perfectionist. Close that gap, close that gap. And if you think for a second I'm not wearing eyeliner, you're wrong, you're canceled. Leave, see yourself out. For my lid color, I wanna do, I'm going bold, I'm going for blood today. This is E3, it's like a neon. Change of plans, we're doing yellow. So we're gonna do E4, it's a matte yellow. And I'm going to plop that onto my lid carefully. Wow, this is yellow, wowie maui. This is a really good quality yellow though, girl. She not blotchy at all. Oh, honey. And you, oh, get out of my video. And can we all collectively agree that black women in yellow makes a book load, a manual, a manuscript of points? I'm gonna take a liquid liner. This is brown. You can use black if you'd like. It's totally up to you. I'm just gonna use this to reinforce that top lash line. I also want to trace the inner tear duct of my eye. We need beige liner in our waterline. This is from Make Forever in the shade Infinite Sand. It's not actually white, sorry guys. It's off-white, it's beige. We need a smidge of brown along our bottom lash line. I'm going back to credit from my palette. And I'm just going to, starting on the outer-ish area, I'm gonna start building up a little bit of that brown, but we're not gonna go too heavy-handed, girl. Just keep it light and keep it cute. And also don't connect. You don't wanna bring it too far in because I kind of want this to have its own moment. Bam, I threw on a lash. This is Lily Lash So Extra. My Is this Extra Miami? Yeah, this is Extra Miami. Do a little dollop of mascara. I don't know who y'all think I am, but I'm somebody else today. Okay, we're pretty much done. We just gotta throw on a lip and we Gucci. Oh, and blush. Of course, how can I forget about blush? This is Sweet Brown from Morena Bote. And we're just gonna kiss the cheeks. Kiss the cheeks. This is perfect, because it's gonna go really well with the yellow. But as we blend this, the last thing I wanna say is please don't compare yourself to somebody else. Don't compare yourself to anybody else, period. Like, why would you even wanna be somebody else but yourself? You are you. That is your power. I remember when I was first growing my channel, I thought I had to do what everybody else was doing. I thought I had to be like somebody else. I thought I had to follow someone else's formula, someone else's path, someone else's, you know, like, swag, whatever. Like, I was doing everything but being myself. And that's why when people watch my old videos, they're like, oh my God, you changed so much. You're so different now. And I'm like, no, I'm the same. I've always been this weird and eclectic and out there. I just didn't know that like it would be embraced. If I had really been putting my personality out there like that, I'd probably be a lot further than where I am now, which is fine that I'm not, but truly like you are you and that is your power. Like that is a power. Being you is your power. Embrace it, take advantage of it, hone in on it, protect it. Like I said, you inspire people who pretend to not even see you, okay? Know that. Let's finish it off with some Morphe setting spray. I don't know what exactly I'm setting because I'm not going anywhere, but we're gonna do it anyway, just to go through the motions. And then last, we're gonna finish off with a beautiful chocolatey gloss lip. First, I'm gonna line my lips with Pitch from ColourPop. I don't think they make this liner anymore. I feel like somebody commented this on my video. I don't think this liner is, uh, I think this is gone, girl. I think, this, I, think, I think she gone, I think she retired. But you don't have to use this. It's just a really dark, cool tone brown liner. This is Aphrodisiac Lipstick. It's from the new Artist Couture Nude Collection. They smell so freaking good. I love that we got a brown. Angel, thank you for giving us a dark brown. Ooh, oh, that's so pretty. That's a really nice shade of brown. Ooh. 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 I didn't know we had that much of a banger on our hands, but now I know though. Oh, and the formula that was super juicy and super hydrating. Yes, we're still gonna put a gloss on top. I just wanna overline my lips just a teen sir. Oh my God, I was looking through my kit and I was just about to say, it's so weird that I don't have a dark brown lip gloss because I really don't. And then I really looked and looked and looked and then I found this one. This is from Bearded Beauty Cosmetics. One of my followers actually DM'd me on Instagram like a couple months ago and was like, I have a line of makeup and I'm just getting off the ground. I wanna send it to you. So, so shout out to my baby for 
for sending these to me. This was really sweet of you. This is a black owned brand, a male owned brand, a beauty boy started this brand and he's literally like a guy who wears makeup. I love when people express themselves in whatever form they are. Sometimes the bearded boys don't get too much love on social media. So I'm really proud of him for starting this brand. And this was literally the only dark brown gloss that I had in my kit. So again, thank you Boo for sending me these. And of course, just like all the other products, I'll link them down below. The shade that I'm wearing is, what is this? Does this have a name? Oh my God, there's no name. There's no name, but I'm pretty sure this is probably the only dark brown gloss. And these smell so good. I actually did a little swatch story when I first got these on my Insta stories a couple months ago. And they're super buttery and very, very hydrating. I really wanted the lip to be just like mirror shine. It smells so freaking good. You saw that my nostril flared, right? Ooh, I can just layer this on and on and on. But I'm done though. That's it. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I know it might have been a little chatty, a little bit all over the place, but I really enjoyed talking about confidence. I feel like I kind of have really grown into myself, into my 30s, into the newness that is me. You know, like I feel like I've literally lived like seven lives. I'm a divorcee, I'm a veteran. I've lived in different countries and different states. It's a lot. Like some people meet me and they're like, you're 32. Like the way that you describe the stuff you've been through, I would have thought you were in your 40s. And I'm like, yeah, I know. So I know a thing or two about confidence. Just, just, just a little something. Okay guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I mean, I may not be the poster child on how to be the most confident. I have my moments, don't get me wrong. We all do, like I'm only human. But I think I know a thing or two about a thing or two. It's funny because like when people like hear all the stuff that I've been through, like I've been previously married, divorced, lived in different countries. I'm also a veteran. They're like, you're only 32. I would assume after going through all that, you were like in your 40s. I mean, I don't look it though, but that's just what people say. I truly feel like I've lived enough and I know enough to know that like, you know what, stuff happens, you bounce back, you're not gonna be everyone's cup of tea and that's okay. I'm living proof of that. Life goes on after not being someone's cup of tea and like, who cares? Should be drinking kombucha anyway. Okay, that was really corny and not funny. Anyway, thank you guys for hanging out on today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed the makeup look, the chatter. If you recreate this look, I would love to see you tag me. Tag me on Twitter if you enjoyed the video. And I really like when you guys make cut downs on my videos, by the way. Whenever you take little quotable moments and you tweet them to me, I always retweet them because they almost always pop off and go viral. So shout out to everybody who does that. But in the meantime, if you're not all that technologically savvy, you can just watch another video. I'm gonna put it right here. Where else you gonna go? Ex ex exactly. You might as well watch another video.